So, after being at my hairdresser salon, first time after pandemic and changing my look a little bit, I also decided to change my content and do something I've never done before, share with you my weekly fragrance rotation. So, if you would like to find out which perfumes I've been wearing the most this week, then just keep on watching. So guys, indeed, I've been at my hairdresser's today. I love to go to her. I just love the experience of washed hair and then the whole process and um, the styling. Oh my God, if I were rich or if I will have a lot of money one day, I really, really want to go to hairdressers every week or maybe every day. That's just like extra luxury to me. Let me know if you feel the same. I know that some people hate to cut their hair. I adore that and I just love to, you know, be styled. So today I'm kind of extra and I wish I went out, had fun, but you know, I have no friends. Benny doesn't answer my call. So instead of having fun, somewhere showing how beautiful I am. I'm just filming videos for you guys. That's my reality. Alrighty, with that being said, uh, let me tell you about those perfumes that I've been wearing this week, uh, that I reached out for the most and I preferred over uh, the rest of my collection. And I want to get started with uh, Perfume Her Majesty Oud by the brand Dua Fragrances. And just recently I've created a top list of my favorite fragrances from them, mentioning Her Majesty Oud. But it wasn't love at first sniff for me, which I did not expect to be, because this is inspired by Creed's Royal Princess Oud, if I'm not wrong. and. Uh, I didn't have the best experience with Creed's perfumes, mainly because the opening of all their fragrances is pretty challenging to me. And that was also the case with Her Majesty Oud, because it opens up with quite a synthetic citrusy aroma, maybe of bergamot, maybe something else, but I can tell you I'm not the biggest fan of the first minutes, how it develops. It's just too synthetic and maybe too harsh and I don't really like the citrusy part. But when it dries down, and to me this fragrance is all about the dry down, it turns into this very elegant, woody, woody illusion as I call it, because I can't really recognize uh, very obvious wood elements in there because, you know, wood is very powerful material and if it's um, high quality you can smell it in the perfumes and in here I'm not even sure if there is real wood, probably not, maybe some wood replacement, but to me it's rather like clean musk and that transition from bergamot to beautiful, elegant, clean woody notes is amazing and what I've been doing with this perfume since I'm not a big fan of the opening, I've just applied a little bit before I went to work as I was getting ready and then as I was at work this fragrance was kind of in the later stages of its development so it made me feel like wearing scented clothing but I couldn't really detect which fragrance that is because it is quite abstract when it dries down and I really like it for that and I like it more and more uh, the more I wear it so maybe you know, this experience when you don't fall in love with perfume at first sniff, it's challenging, you don't really like some parts of it, but then you're kind of addicted to it and you just experiment wearing it to different occasions, different times of the day. And if you have such fragrance in your collection, definitely let me know. That's Her Majesty Oud by Dua Fragrances for me, though. So, with that being said, another fragrance that I was loving this week and I'm sure I'll be continue wearing in the future is Clinique's Aromatics in Black. And just take a second and check out how beautifully it complements my look. I really love it for that because, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, matching my outfits and perfumes and everything and this was actually a gift and I'm really glad that I received it because I've never looked into Clinique's uh, 
perfume range. I've never owned anything from them and uh, I was really pleased by this fragrance that my dear friend smells like old school, well done, mass appealing designer perfume that smells pleasantly but not very boring like uh, the current offerings on the market. And for that reason, I really enjoy aromatics in black, which I would classify as heavier white floral scent with depth and lots of powder, which, you know, guys, I love. So I've been wearing it in the evening because it is, you know, just a bit more voluptuous and sensual. And uh, the more I wear, the more I love it. But uh, I definitely loved it more right away than that Her Majesty Oud that I've mentioned previously. These two next fragrances are by DSH and one of them is called Hamza Yellow, which is my summary DSH perfume that basically smells like whipped banana cream because it is very milky and creamy and buttery, very banana-like, sunny, optimistic, happy yellow fragrance that I purchased to wear in the hot weather because I'm a strange person who loves sweet perfumes when it's hot, when other people prefer something refreshing that I totally understand but I can't help it and wear my gourmands when, you know, I sweat. <laughs> and so Hansa Yellow is definitely one of the most wearable, intensely gourmand perfumes because it's like all DSH perfumes, very ethereal. And another one that I reached out for is A Little Smile, which I purchased to wear before I go to bed. And that is actually the time when I wore this very creamy, musky skin-like fragrance that literally smells like your skin, but better. And that's what I need before I go to bed. I want something comforting, something cozy, something that wouldn't be intense. And since uh, when you apply it, it has kind of like oily texture, because when she ships overseas, she creates is the special formula so you know it's not alcohol in there and uh, it's like extra smooth uh, creamy musky um, oil layer on the skin that helps to hydrate the skin and kind of calms me down so I've been loving these DSH perfumes and I also wore the newest perfume by Zara from their memories collection to work which is called a daisy bouquet in London and I wanted to update you on it because I've reviewed the collection in a separate video told you that it smells very familiar to me and I figure out what that was actually at work. Sometimes it drives me crazy that I know a certain perfume and uh, I can't really think right away of it, so it took me maybe a few hours and then I realized that that's Anyway by Juliette Hezegan that it reminds me of same very clean, um, stone-like, uh, musk, slightly metallic, very very cool so yeah very very everyday friendly casual and uh, appropriate for formal occasions uh, fragrance that i've been wearing a lot because it is very hot at the moment in germany and since it's so cooling and neutral you know it doesn't really offend people around me and my colleagues the final fragrance where is it where is it i applied it today yes it's this Junon Noir by Al Haramein and this, my dear friends, is the sweet powder, very floral, very feminine, very sexy, very sensual. I love this stuff. It reminds me of something. I probably mentioned what that was in the video in which I reviewed the entire powdery collection. Junon by Al Haramein. I love it. It's sexy. It's very feminine. It's like, you know, like my look today. Oh, it matches my look too. Look, probably I've been wearing these perfumes only because they match me. No, I don't know. Powder is really my gem and these are powdery. Uh, this is sweeter though. It's like, um, you know, sometimes um, there is powder, like wet, moist powder on the flowers. That's how it smells to me. Very, very delicious. And vanilla in there is pretty noticeable too. So, yeah, it's intense. It's like very va ba vu. I really want to go out now. Man, I'm in a mood. Although I need to edit this video for you to watch. The final thing I wanted to mention is at the hairdresser salon, I smelled this perfume called Femme, Eau de Parfum by La Bercetic, which are products she works with. And I know the scent. It drives me crazy what that is. Probably I'll need a few hours to figure that out. So I am seriously thinking of purchasing it because I imagine it being a very pretty perfume to layer with others. So just throwing that in there and 
that completes this video, which I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you did, because I've never done weekly fragrance rotation, so your feedback is highly appreciated. And on that note, you can also tell me what do you think about my hair. I know, that's not a big change, but I'm so happy that I finally got it done. And if you had fun watching this uh, video, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and please stay tuned and smell good. Let me know in the comments which perfumes you have been wearing the most this week, and we'll see each other really soon. Bye, guys!